Well, welcome everyone! Today we play an interactive Dungeons and Dragons adventure where you, the viewer, can decide what our heroes do. The first few elite viewers to scroll down and add an idea in the video comment section will decide the course of our adventure. The most popular ideas will decide the choices our heroes make among the multiple choices available in the game. Raising the dead is illegal and certainly punishable by death. Kriya knows secrets about you, and so you would like to balance the scales. Aside from that, you would like to test her claim that the spell requires her to tell the truth. Certainly, she wouldn't admit to necromancy if she were not compelled to. Of course, Katrine did say it was just a rumor, so if she denies it, that does not necessarily mean she is lying. Not a good test, but it's something you think. You give Kriya your most evil grin. Is it true that you have raised the dead? She scowls and hesitates. She bites her lip and then finally says in a whisper, Yes, I raised my familiar, a raven named Mighty Beak. A raven, not a cat? She laughs uncomfortably, shifting in her seat. I am not surprised that is what you heard. They think witch, and then they think cat. In any case, it did not work out. Once raised, he was nearly mindless and constantly hungry for flesh. Far worse than when he was alive. The poor thing could not even fly anymore. I destroyed it the same night. Her spell really does compel her to speak the truth, you think, unless she's being clever. What do you think of rats? She asks. Rats? You pause. You feel no compulsion to answer. After a few seconds, you smile triumphantly. Evidently, your spell has lost its potency. I should decline to answer your question. Kriya frowns, opens her cloak, and digs around for a moment. She then throws a small furry animal onto the table with a long, naked tail. Rat, you gasp, as you tilt your chair back. It lies limply in front of you. Its eyes are closed. Its mouth is frozen open, revealing yellowish incisors. I presume that you do not care for them, says Kriya with a chuckle. Who? You shudder in a whisper. Who carries around a dead rat? You look around the inn. Katrina is staring at your table. Her face is contorted in disgust. Put it away, you hiss. Kriya continues to smile. <laughs> uh, Kriya continues to smile as she carefully lifts the dead rodent off the table and stuffs it into her cloak. Maurice was my most recent familiar. Her smile fades. Trampled by a horse, broke his back. The poor dead. I think it is time I take my leave. You say, scooting back your chair. And what of House Vandermeer? She says. Even if you have your payment by sundown tonight, what about the next moon? I'll manage, you say, standing. They stop at no expense. They hire the best diviners in the kingdom to scry for debtors, she says. They have a reputation to protect, you agree. Just then, the door to the inn jangles open, and you look up. Rosia and Katrine are leaving the inn. Rohesia glances back at you as the door shuts behind them. Never mind her, says Kriya in a soft voice, nodding at the door. She needs to get back to her wealthy husband anyway. You turn back to Kriya. She motions to your chair. People like you and I must make our own way. I have a proposition for an avarice man such as yourself. It is not just for me, you say. My, your sister, I know, she says with a dismiss dismissive wave of her hand. Everyone has heard tales of how well the here settles debts. You sit. If you are an adventurer who hates rats, then you and I can make some coin, she says. You sigh. Does this have to do with cleaning out the sewers? That was a quest in the last city I was in. It is no wonder. Rats are a problem in all cities, she says. The mayor is offering two gold for each head. The giant ones, that is. People have been going missing. People are missing, you say incredulously. If I were the mayor, I would see killers who walk on two legs, not four. She laughs. Agreed. Nevertheless, the bounty stands at two gold per head. That's a day's worth of work in the mines. Instead of the mines, you'd have me down in the sewers, you say. That is what Malentha says. The man-at-arms I spotted you with earlier? She nods. I cannot seem to form a party to go down with them. Go, go to, to go down there, she says. The captain of the guard will not commit his own troops for the sewers, either. It's disease everyone fears, really, she frowns, and it stinks. You mean to tell me that you want to slog around in the sewer? A. You let the sentence drop. A woman, she asks, her eyes narrowing. It's unusual, you must admit, you mutter. I'll have you know that I'm a wizard who can summon death to those deserving of it, she says, her face hardening. Like you, I could use some coin. 
but unlike you, I'd use it for books and instruction rather than card games and drinks, and... Her voice trails off. Now it's your turn to fin finish her sentence. What do you say? Fast horses? Luxurious baths? To save my sister. You decide, folks. <laughs>